Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the meanings, history, and context of the words we use every day. Today's word is interesting. Throughout its history, it's meant to hit something repeatedly and violently, or to bombard a city with projectiles. And how did this word come to be used to describe things that power stuff that we use every day? Let's look into the history of the word. Battery. Noun. A device that uses chemical reactions to create an electrical current. Or multiple similar items used together to create an effect greater than a single item. This sense is generally used for artillery, but can also be applied to electrical cells and medical tests. History and etymology. The words battery, batter, and battle all come from the same Latin word, batuo. In Latin, this word meant to hit or to beat up. For words like battle and batter, it makes sense how those words came into being from that original even in the sense of like brownie batter, it makes sense because the ingredients have been beaten together to form the batter. Well, let's follow the trail from Latin and see where it leads. When the form of Latin spoken in France slowly morphed its way into Old French, the word became batterie, meant, that meant to thrash or assault. During this transition between Old French and Middle French, the word also applied to bombardment of a city with projectiles, and began to be used to describe the artillery doing the bombarding. When battery entered in English in the 1530s, its most common use was to describe unlawful beating of a person. In military terminology, it also described a unit of artillery when multiple cannons were set up side by side to bombard a target. Over time, the military use of the word began to refer to any group of similar items used together to create a greater effect. An example would be a battery of tests in a medical scenario. And in the late 1740s, Benjamin Franklin created what he called an electric battery. This was the first time the word was used to describe any kind of electrical circuit. But in this case, it was a group of capacitors set in series to create a greater electrical discharge at the end. Franklin chose to use the word battery because each of the window panes separately could discharge electricity, but when they were connected together, that discharge was greater and had a greater effect, like artillery in the military. But even this isn't the battery we know today. The first battery in the way that we know it was created in 1799 by Alessandro Volta. When he published his work on the voltaic pile, though at the time and for some time after that, this is still not what we what was called a battery. That word wasn't applied to this. But when they were connected in series for greater effect, they were referred to as a battery. And even in a lot of languages today, a single cell of a battery is referred to as a pile, like in Spanish. Over time, the word battery became so ubiquitous for referring to an object that provided electricity that now we call any object, even if it's a single cell, a battery. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this entry into my video dictionary at least a little bit interesting. If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe for more explorations of the English language in the future. And don't forget to visit the links down below to find my Patreon, my blog, and other ways you can help support the show. Thank you, and until next time, keep on learning.